This is a video on a test for homogeneity. The question states, surveys were done both last year and this year at a summer resort asking what type of outdoor recreation was most enjoyed. The results are shown below. Has the distribution of preferred recreation type changed? Use a level of significance alpha equals 0 0.05. So here's the results. So we can see we have last year and this year, and the recreation types are hiking, cycling, boating, and horseback. And these are the counts for each year. So we want to find out whether the distribution has changed or not. So we will use a test for homogeneity because we have a survey from last year and a survey from this year. We want to find out if the distribution has changed. So the null hypothesis is H0, the distributions of outdoor recreation preferences for last year and this year are the same. And the alternative hypothesis is H1, the distributions of outdoor recreation preferences for last year and this year are not the same. So now let's go to the calculator to crunch our data and find the p-value for this hypothesis test. So here's the calculator. And when performing a test for homogeneity, it's very similar to a test for independence. I use second matrix, and then I go to edit so that I could put my data in and hit enter. We have two rows and four columns of numbers. So two is fine, and then four columns. And now I just type in the data, 54, 43, 28, 37, 92, 50. 41, and 39. Okay, now that I have the data stored in the matrix, I go to Stat, and then Tests, and then I scroll up to Chi-squared Test. On my calculator, it's C. And then hit Enter. So the observed is A, that's the matrix where I just stored all my data, so that's fine. The expected is B. If I want my expected counts um, later on, I can open up B and take a look at it. And I hit Calculate. So the chi-squared value is about 3.63, and the p-value is about 0.3. So now let's go back to the PowerPoint. So the p-value was about 0.3, and what's important about that is that 0.3 is greater than the level of significance of 0.05. And since p is greater than alpha, I fail to reject the null hypothesis, and I can conclude that there is insufficient evidence to make a conclusion about whether the distributions of outdoor recreation preferences for last year and this year are the same or not. And I'm done with the problem.